good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, family, whatever the side of the diaspora on, you on, I got to come to y'all with some real shit. Hold on one second. That was a phone ringing. Anyway, I want to welcome you, whatever side of the world that you on, and I just want to share a little something with y'all, okay? Um... My mama told me, never, ever, ever talk to a stranger or, you know, maybe to say hi and keep going. She told me, definitely don't get in a car with nobody I don't know. So when I was about 12 years old or 13 years old, I decided to break that rule and I got into a car with a man. He asked me what I was doing. I was on my way to school. And I told him, he said, you want to ride? And I said, yeah. You know, and I knew the way he was looking at me that, you know, well, hmm. But I just didn't know how much, hmm. So I didn't feel like walking to school. And I believe I had spent my money up, you know, or something, and then and I had to walk. And so this school is about two miles away. So what happened was, I got in the car with the dude, yada, 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 and he asking me all types of questions, you know, what you like to do, what you do, oh, you show sure looking good, you know, and then, so this guy must have been in his 50s, 40s or 50s or something, you know, as a kid, he looked really old, so, and I was just, you know, making small talk until he said something like, you know, say, you let somebody play in your pussy? And when he said that shit, I was like, oh, hell no. Okay? So with that being said, I already knew I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. So he must have sensed that I was going to do that. So he locked the door from his side. Dude. Lock, lock. Wow. Somehow, this was an older car, I unlocked it, boom, and when we turned the corner, I slung the door open, and I didn't fall out, I kind of like jumped out, and you know, I fell a little bit, but not all the way down, and I began to break ass, hall camp, just run, I left the door open. So the dude got out the car, then he started, he, he came around and he chained, closed the door, and then he decided to go through the alley and chase me, okay? And I got away, so he got in his car, so he started driving his car through the alley, and I'm like, oh shit. So I ran across the street and I ran through the second alley, but when I looked back, he saw me. And he was finna turn the corner again. And I was like, oh, shit, this is a problem. So now I know that I am in uh, danger. And this fucking freak is in hot pursuit of me because I jumped out of his car. And it just seemed like wasn't nobody on the damn road. Okay? So I began to run. And I hid on the side of some bushes. And then I saw him coming down the road. I saw him. I was like, oh, shit. And he was creeping. He was creeping. He was looking for me. But he didn't see me because I was bent down. And it, it, he passed the bushes. I was like, oh, shit. I'm just going to let him stop. He passed the bushes. I stayed there still as a mouth. When he got down, down halfway, you know, maybe down the block, he turned right. So I kept going straight again. And I hauled ass. Mm -hmm. All that. So now I know that I've left him. At least I'm going east and I got him going west. Okay? I go and uh, run and run, run, and then I ran into a store. Oh, I'll never forget. It. I ran into a store. So when I came in the store, I was all crazy, you know, and I was very difficult and I was scared and shit. And I told the guy, the man that was uh, behind the store, he said, What's wrong with you? And I said, oh, there's some man chasing me. There's somebody chasing me. And I just ran. He said, oh, who's chasing you? I said, I don't know. He just, and so I made up a lie. I said, 
he, you know, he's he's in the, uh, I don't know who he is. I didn't say I had got up in the, got in the car with the man. I didn't say that. I just said it's a white car chasing me and I got to make it to school. And I'm scared. And bless that man's heart. Um, because he called his wife down or back from the back part of the store. And she uh, came in and he took me to the school. Okay, fast forward to the reason why I'm telling you this story. So people asked me to speak at a visual. And um, the person that was deceased was an adult that got into the car, a car, with a stranger. Not only did he get into the car with a stranger, he was transgender and he didn't tell the person that he was. So he got in the car with the person and he didn't know and the person ended up taking his life. Now, while that is so tragic, to lose your life in that capacity. I think it's even more tragic when you disobedient, when you don't follow the protocol of being honest and doing what your mama told you a long time ago, you don't get in a fucking car with strangers. So I couldn't speak because I felt like if I did, I would have been a hypocrite. And then if I would have said that, of course, people would get mad because y'all won't get mad at me saying this right now. I'm sure it's going to be some of y'all that do. But that's how I feel. And if it had been me, had I not have made it that day and that man had to kill me, my mom would have just had to find out that I got into a fucking car with a fucking stranger. And that was shit that she had told me on countless occasions not to do. So I couldn't do it. And all I could say is, rest in peace. Rest in peace, brother.